Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this from Mad Cats. It is the Rat 8 Plus Advance. It's got a PixArt 3389 sensor in there, which means it's very sensitive. It's basically eSports level. Um, so it should be pretty good. It's totally customizable. It's got a lot of buttons on and so forth. It's got a recommended retail price on here of roughly $109.99 US dollars. I'm looking around online and it's roughly the same sort of price in pounds. We do have links below if you click those links it will take you to the cheapest price place we've managed to find online in your country Okay, so let's have a look at this Mad Cat's mouse, or should I say rat. It is the Rat 8 Plus Advanced. Um, it's got a Red Dot Award, apparently, for 2020. That's, I think, uh, how the look and designs and stuff like that. Um, it's got a few things on the box. Pre precision aim, um, 60 million premium clicks. I don't know what a premium click is. I presume a click is a click. Um, less probably the need of VIP to press the button, which makes it premium. I don't know. But it's got 50, mil um, 50 million premium clicks, or should I say 60. Uh, rapid gaming, uh, hyper speed. Um, one thing I've noticed, it's not easy to read all the stuff on the box because it's partially transparent. So it doesn't stand out very well on the box, but um, it's 400 IPS tracking speed, 2000 Hertz pulling rate, 12,000 frame rate, and 50G acceleration. Um, as you can see, you can see the actual thing through the box. I've taken the wrapper off, which does take the security seals off the side. So if you wonder why the security seals are off, that's why we haven't actually opened the box as of yet. On the back of the box, it gives you a bit more information on there, but not a huge amount in all honesty. Um, no pictures or anything like that. Um, but does give you a few bits for different languages and stuff like that as well. Um, so let's open it up and see what we've got. Okay, so this is what's inside the box. You've got, well, quite a few bits as you can see, but let's just start off with some basics about this mouse. If you have a look at a lot of Mad Cat's mice, they all look very similar. Probably slightly different color, maybe a little bit of light in here and there and so forth. This model's in red only, I must admit, it does look quite nice red. Um, I've had one similar to that before in the past, many years ago. Uh, I think it was before they got bought out a few years ago, and that was pretty good. I think it was a Rad uh, the Rat 7 back then, but uh, it's been a few years now. But anyway, what have you got in here? Okay, so we've got technical support and warranty information. Not that we need that. You've got some stickers. So you've got three stickers you can stick on your case or whatever there. You've got a manual. Some of you all read it, some of you won't. But I suggest you do, because there's quite a few things in here it tells you about. As you can see, there's lots of information in here. Um, so... Gives you a rough idea. Um, it does tell you in different languages of what all the bits do. So it tells you you've got a right click, DPI level, DPI level down, left click, thumb barrel right, uh, profile slot indicator, scroll wheel lock, DPI level indicator, precision aim button, that's internet forward, internet backwards, scroll wheel up, scroll wheel down and from barrel lock and it tells you how to adjust it as well so how to adjust uh, the back and change it as well as adjust the weight yes it does have weights in there so you can uh, make it as heavy or light as you want well to a certain degree uh, and as well how to fit these panels uh, with what looks like a, a screwdriver uh, which is actually built in there i was going to say it doesn't look like i've got one of those but uh, so let's get to the parts. You've got some spare side panels and as well different parts for down here. When I say spares, they're not spares, they're just slightly different designed. You might prefer the bottom to have more of a grit or instead of on that black surround, you have know, red. And the same with the side as well here. You might prefer more of a grippy side. And again, this part here as well, you might decide you want 
more of a, um, a grape or, or whatever. It's, all, it's up to you. It's different designs depending on how you want it. And everyone's different. And that's what this mouse is aimed for. You can customize it to how you like it, which may not be everyone's cup of tea. A lot of people get a mouse, plug it in, and away they go, and they never change the setting. They never install any software. They just want to use it. Um, but let's have a closer look. So as you can see, there is the mouse. You've got left button, right button, you've got a profile button there. That's going to be a DPI, obviously you've got a wheel there as well. Uh, you've got quite a few different bits on here. Uh, on the bottom, this is where your weights are. So take this bit out and then you can replace the weights in there, as you can see. Let's just take that bit out, that's like your screwdriver. Um, to adjust things, but you take that bit off the end and that will finally come out, hopefully. Yeah, it takes the spring out and then you can take the weights out to adjust the weight how you want it. We'll put some specifications on the screen which will uh, show you the differences in weights and all that and the other. And then obviously scroll that, uh, screw that back on. Mm, once it gets there. Don't screw back on the easiest. There we go. And so forth. This back panel here, which is where you sort of your palm goes, you can adjust that by pulling it backwards with this little lever here, uh, and it lets you adjust it or take it off and then put another one on, for example, this one here, and you slide it on. Not always easiest to show you on camera but it just slides on there and then you can adjust adjust it to how you want again push the lever in it'll let you pull it back and forward depends on you that'll give you more grip so if you do get sweaty palms or anything while you're gaming which people do uh, it'll allow you to keep grip better um, but obviously that's up to you because the standard surface is glossy so it might give you a slight bit of a slide on there so you can take this bit out here at the back, it will let you to adjust certain things, tightnesses, undo them and so forth there. There's also a part there you can unscrew as well. Uh, and are again on the side here, so you can take off parts and basically replace them with another part. So once you've totally unscrewed it, just take a bit. Obviously don't lose a screw. That side panel should then just pull off and then you can put another side panel on. Let's just say this one. If you wanted, you could have that there. So I don't like that personally, but everyone's different. Or you could put the uh, rubberized version on there to match up with the rest. So again, that pushes on there and then you screw it in. If you screw and this fitting. Obviously don't lose this fitting because it is keyed exactly for these screws. So as you can see there. So now you've got more of a grip, you've got more grip there, more grip on the side. Unfortunately you can't replace the buttons to give you more of a grip or anything like that. But you have got different bits and you can have different tightnesses and adjustments for the sides, depending on however you want it. Obviously everyone's different. And that's the nice thing about this uh, mouse. It does adjust for anyone. You've also got another wheel here as well for going left and right and so forth. So you've got pretty much every bit of control you'll ever want on here. Um, the cable itself is braided all the way down. Um, hard to see on the camera, but it's a nice braid. It flexes pretty well. It's roughly 1.8 meters long, the braiding. So it gives you a rough idea. A lighting effect, I don't think there is any on this, but let's just have a look. Oh yeah, there is a little bit of lighting. You have got a bit of RGB lighting on the DPI. Uh, you will on the profile button there, the way you can swap between profiles. And you've also got a bit of lighting under here as well. Not that you're gonna see that when you've got your hand on top of it, but you do have obviously the option there. Um, so that's pretty good. 
You can download the software for this from the Mad Cats website, which is basically www.madcats.com forward slash downloads and then you'll be able to set up your profiles, how sensitive it is and RGB lighting and all your different effects and stuff like that which you've come to expect. Again what I do suggest is once you finish using that is scroll, um, screw it back in the back of the mouse because if you lose it you're going to struggle changing anything on there and like most of us you probably uh, unscrew something put it on one side think oh I'll mess about with that later and then you can't find it but there you go so you've got a mouse which has got lots of different panels you can choose from putting on you can adjust the weights you can adjust the angles you can adjust the length of it um pretty much I can't think else what it <laughs> can do basically or can't do and don't forget you've also got this precision button here as well and again all these buttons can be customized in the software so what else is there to say apart from you've got a one hell of a gaming mouse it's 109 pounds and 99p roughly so I don't think you're going to have any issues with it in all honesty. It looks nice. From the past when I've had my um, cat mice, um, they've done me very well. They've lasted me many years. Uh, and I've used the Mad Cat stuff on office PCs, gaming PCs, and all sorts over the years. So it's uh, generally a very good brand. And personally, I prefer it over Razer in most cases. Um, but at least on this model, uh, it does seem to do the job. I'm going to have a play a uh, few games with it and see how it performs. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the software. So to get the software, you go to the Mad Cats website and find the model, which is obviously the Rat 8 Plus Advanced. You scroll to where it says either downloads, it'll take to the bottom of the page, or if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it will give you the options. You can see there's three options there. There's a quick start guide. Uh, there's an x86, that's if you're using a 32-bit version of Windows, and x64. General rule is, is most things are 64-bit these days, so you want to be using the x64. So just click on it, it will download onto your machine. It may pop up and say this file may harm it or whatever. You need to press keep, uh, and once that's done, it's installed. And then you need to start it by double-clicking the icon on the desktop, and it will open up this here. This is the actual software itself. Uh, looks a little bit confusing, it's not as straightforward as some I've seen in the past, but the basics is you can see each individual button on the actual mouse. So these little squares on the side or diamonds on each side point to a different part or you could hover over that part. And then if you want a specific button to do something specific, so let's say copy and paste, you just drag off the shortcut bar at the bottom the option for copy onto the section you want to button you want to do copying and the same with downloads and so forth you can also do keys so you can make a specific thing press a certain key so if you wanted let's just say uh, the little button on the side here to be the control key you can press uh, you can put set that as the control key and so forth you can even create custom commands these are basically macros so you press custom commands you name it so you call it test one uh, then you can do mode simple. If you do simple mode, you can just type in what you want it to, to do, basically. And then you press OK. Or you can go onto advanced mode, and that puts time in. So it will time how long of a time there is between each key. So if I tap in QWERTY, you'll see there's so many milliseconds between each. So if I press OK now, I can then bind that macro to one of the keys on the actual mouse so when I actually click on that it will run that macro so obviously it'll do exactly what you want this is usually used a lot in um, certain types of games like MMO games stuff like that um, where you need macros or where they may be helpful and you could potentially use it in other things as well say you're just typing out a lot of commands something you use common you can create a macro for it obviously then you press apply there are more settings on here as well if you click on settings you can choose your profile speed so you can change your dpa level so with the buttons on there well uh, i'll let you change the dpi it's set at preset um, speed you can basically configure that how you want so setting one you can set for 50 dpi setting two for 500 
three for a thousand and then four for twenty thousand if you wanted really up to you you might want different dpis for doing different things certain games you might want higher dpi and then if you're on desktop you might want it on a lower dpi again up to you you've also got other options on there as well as you can see you've got dpi switch uh, precision aim and so forth uh, polling rate and angle snap as well You've also got custom, uh, common settings as well, lift off height and rotax. And then you've also got the chameleon, which is where you can choose the colors on there as well. So each section, you can have a slightly different color. Again, totally up to you. But that's the basics to it. Obviously, you've got apply at the bottom. You can also click this area down the bottom left here. That'll allow you to import and save profiles. But otherwise, very happy with the mouse. Does everything you want it to. Got plenty of options. You can customize it to how you want. Probably not the best mouse for a beginner, um, but for someone who wants something what will fit their needs exactly, well this you can alter to fit your needs exactly.